Hello guys, you Steve here. Bring you here is part four of another Eden. As you can see, like I said, I came all the way back. I'm all the way back over here. I'm one room behind technically, but eh, we should be fine. I finished all the side quests. I am quite very much higher level than I probably should be at this point in the game. But now we're 16 across the party. It's probably gonna make this a lot easier than the first time I've done this dungeon. And again, like I said, I did a lot of this before already so <laughs> i'm kind of already relatively used to what i would need to do so the, like these dungeons and stuff good levels i need to be at i'll probably already have all of that down to what i need to be so should be good i've already killed over a hundred of these synth soldiers apparently <laughs> <laughs> because I got the um, the record reward for killing a hundred of them. Anyway, as I'm sure you guys remember from last time, uh, we have come in here to defeat Galliard. Well, the synth humans in general. We're here to fight against the synth human army. We found the last thing Amy's mother left for her, which was a little sound orb. And here we are. We're in Series C, I believe. I don't remember how much more of this there is. I don't believe there is too much more. Got a clean ass blue cord. Oh yeah, this should be it. Yep, here we are. Hey, I thought we were just scouting ahead. Isn't about isn't it about time we head back? Shh. Do you hear that? Someone or someone something's up ahead. Two semi-biotic life forms detected. They are likely to be hostile towards us. It's them. Hi. The time quake occurred just as Professor Kronos predicted. Space time is already stretched to its limit. This world doesn't have long. That is no excuse. We cannot keep living like this, Mon Brave. Both sides have suffered enough. This could be our last chance to negotiate. Enough, Helena. These human, the humans have no interest in making peace with us. Oh, it appears we have guests. Question mark. Show yourselves, humans. Ah, oh, shoot. He's seen us. Surely you knew what you were getting yourselves into when you decided to infiltrate this place. Humans are so short-sighted, they reject anything that doesn't tally with their idea of reality. As much as it pains me, I know that brute force is the only language you understand. Sorry, fella, but I've got things to do today. I don't have time to sit through this lecture of yours. Auto Rika, let's go! Huh, Amy, what are you doing? If I can get this hover platform moving. Awesome. Hop on, you two. Time's a-wasting. Wait up, Amy. It's fallen an old maintenance route. We should be able to get off somewhere and find an exit to ground level. That was Galliard, all right. He and his synth human troop really are here. We've got to go back, get back and tell everyone. Oh shit, who's on this badass motorcycle? My sensors are detecting an object rapidly approaching from the rear. How is that possible? Aw oh, shit. No way. Freaking Galliard over here riding his fucking motorcycle with a machine gun. Galliard? Leaving so soon, humans? There is no need to hurry. You may as well stay here permanently. Allow me to show you the full potential of synth humans, the dreaded power that you're kind of least on the ward. Oh, yeah, level question mark Galliard. Here we go. Let me make sure he's not weak to fire, okay. Uh, we'll keep her for healing. 
Let me take my 84. Let's see. Looks like he's weak to wind. She just hit 800 on him. This man got marked. Your skills are impressive enough, but you humans should learn your place. The man pulled out a lance. He's about to joust me. Let me give you a taste of true power. Nothing can stop my lands. Humanity is an ugly, foolish race. I'll break right through you and clear the way for a better future. There's probably a grain of truth in the way you guys see the world. Even your hatred of humans. We can be weak and we don't always make the best decisions. But we have to at least try to fix our own messes. The future is full of infinite possibilities. I want to believe we can find our way to the best possible tomorrow. I'll pit my fist against your lens any time, Galliard. It's winner take all. Takes all. Yeah, and unfortunately for this man, he probably ain't gonna be the winner of this one. Here. <laughs> Uh, I have legit names. This man's uh, this man's attack name is like Hergen. Behold my power! Uh, we're gonna throw out some heels. Oh shit! Here's his true power. Oh no, he's dead. Uh, should have released your true power there earlier, there, huh? Yeah, you ought to leveled up. Galliard? Helena, don't worry. It's just a scratch. <coughs> oh, God. oh, God, I'm dying. I mean, it's just a scratch. Shit. Listen well, humans. You still know so little of the coming disaster. The Xenoprisma will rip this world apart. An unprecedented time quake is coming. Everything you have ever known and loved will be destroyed. Hold on a minute, what the heck are you talking about? Soon, you'll understand, though, by then, it will be too late. I'm sorry, Helena. This is the pitiful end my path has led me to. Please, carry on my work. I know you can do it. You are our last hope. Oh no, Galliard died to just a scratch. Galliard? Galliard! Who knows scratches could be so dangerous? If only we, like, cut off his arm or something, he might still be alive. But a scratch was just too much. Go. I won't try to stop you. I wish you'd be alone with them for a little while. Or do you intend to suspend my vital functions as well? Come on, Amy. We've done enough for today. We sustained in several injuries during our battle with Galliard. More than enough justification for a strategic retreat. You're right. Let's get out of here. Yeah, rip Galliard, man. Scratches are dangerous, guys. Uh, be careful if you get a scratch. You might die. Anyway, uh, time quakes sound like they're gonna suck dick, huh? They're, good thing there's no time quakes in Chrono Triggers, right? Hey, Otto. Mind if we stop by the shop? Dad's probably worried sick. We need to report our findings, too. Fine by me. We'll swing by Ishar's and let him know. I'll bet he, he'll be surprised he hears that we defeated Galliard. A logical course of action. Oh, look, we cleared chapter for the ruins. Howdy, kids. I already heard the good news. You've done me proud. I'd say this calls for a celebration. We're setting, we're setting everything back at the shop. Oh, we're setting everything up back at the shop. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. You got all your business out of the way? All right. All right. All right. 
All right. I don't even think that's Southern. All right. It just sounds child. It like, sounds... What the... Oh, well. All right. I'll call up my, all my regulars. That's cool with you, right? Now he has a more Southern voice. He's talking like from the fucking South. <laughs> Let's head on... No, I say voice, but I'm not good at voices anyway, so... <laughs> Let's head on over then. Can't can't keep your admirers rating. <gasps> oh my god, even the cat showed up! <laughs> Still can't believe it took down a big wig like Galliard. Ready to go, Amy. Things, I started out just going there for recon, but things kind of snowballed after they found us out. The newscasts in Elzion are having a field day with this story. Nearly everyone has heard of your heroic deeds by now. Would you expect any less from the face of Ishar? You really show them what for, Amy. It's all in the genes. How could a daughter of mine be anything less than brilliant? I don't mean to brag, but when I was Amy's age, I once wrestled a bear with my bare hands. Ha 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 ha. Where did you, did you find a bear? You're in a floating city. There's like robots. I've never seen a bear. Oh, great. We're not, go we're not going to start breaking out those weird stories, are you? Well, I hate to flex on him, but I also once wrestled a bear. <laughs> Maybe now the synth humans will settle down a little, huh? Don't forget this young fella in the far out costume. You're welcome to join us at Sardi Lamia after for the after party tonight. Yeah, bro, in the far out costume, dude. You're welcome to join us anytime, man. I got to hand it to you, Otto. I couldn't have done this without you. Sorry for not believing you before. Past, future, we're all pals, right? And I want you to know you can count on my help. There's got to be somewhere to get you back to your own time. Wow, thanks, Amy. That really means a lot. Together, I bet we can't... Whoa, hey! Oh, no! No! Donald's got the Infinity Stones! No! Not the cat! Not Zaul! Otto, I... <laughs> I thought she was about to say I don't feel so good. Otto, I I don't know what's No, my waifu too, damn you! Uh I gotta go find another Ethan Donos and kick his ass. Amy, everyone, what's going on? Hmm. Ah Beautiful. This is exactly how I remember I was on. A wasteland. Oh shit. <laughs> no way. What happened to Elzion? Everything's in ruins. How did this happen? History has been rewritten. Huh? Who are you? Did you do this? What you see is the effect of past events being altered. The future you saw no longer exists. Its potential has been cut short. But, but how? How is any of that possible? Time is a great river, flowing forward without rest. You are riding on a boat on that river. Normally you have no choice but to allow the current to carry you onward. Changing your vantage point makes little difference. You still cannot divine your ultimate destination. Shut, such is the fate of mortal beings. Even a small wave can send rippling shocks downward that disturb the riverbed. Likewise, seemingly insignificant changes in the past have the power to completely alter the future. Hey, my boy, the time portal opened back up. This is like that hole from before. Do you wish to go and save our lost future? To bring back the people you met, the girl you fought alongside. Many wards and countless possible futures will crumble based on the decision you make. Are you trying to mess with my head? Just tell me how to save them. It all began 16 years ago 
when you were swallowed by the dimensional vortex and lost sight of your true self. Uh, uh, exposition? If you want answers, you must overcome the constraints of time, take back your sister, and reclaim your destiny. Wait, just who are you anyway? Can I really do this? Rewriting history? Saving our lost future? He mentioned Fane too. Could she have something to do with all this? I feel like my light's spinning out of control. If I go through here, will I get any answers? I have, a, I have to at least try. Here goes nothing. No matter what happens, I'm going to find a way to fix everything. Oh, what's this? Grandpa said plum mushrooms go around here, huh? Someone's there. Yeah, it's it's not the Beast King. Um, hello. What? Stay back. Wait, is something wrong with your leg? Don't be frightened. I Dot, dot, dot. It looks like you sprained your ankle. Don't worry, I know a spell that should be able to fix it. There, how do you feel now? It doesn't hurt anymore. Great, we'll see you later. Wait, huh? Get on with it. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Oh, this is a plum mushroom. Can I really have it? Uh-huh. Thank you. Do you like these two? Yeah, they're my favorite. Hee hee hee. Ha 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 ha. I don't know what's funny. My name's Artena. I'm Fene. Nice to meet you, Fene. You too, Artena. Hmm. Meanwhile, uh, leaping lizards. What's this? Yeah, my battle bot survived. I already knew she survived. Gravity, atmospheric makeup, and solar exposure are all consistent with our native world. That's a relief. I'd hate to have to end it up somewhere. Rika, what are you doing here? On a quantum level, the chances of my existence in this space are estimated to be 33.33333333333. Oh no, she's gonna blow up! No auto! 33333333%. I suggest we ask that young human which time period we have arrived in. What's going on here? Where did you come from? What was that? Trouble. That's what. Best find a hiding place or we'll all be dino food. Hiding place? You mean right up in its face to get mortar it? Come here, dinosaur. Auto the dinosaur slayer. Well, that was imp that was an impressive battle. Can murder that thing. <laughs> I need to right out of the sky too. Are you a wizard? Uh, yes. Um, I guess you could say that. 
Your companion's really something. Pow! Fwish! Whoosh! You really made that dinos dinosaur. Thank you for the compliment. I am Rika, a KMS all-purpose android. I was not aware that I was powing or fwooshing. Could you clarify the meaning of all these? I'll explain later, Rika. We don't have time for that right now. An all-purpose android? I don't really get it, but I think you're my new hero, Miss Rika. As for you, mister, don't go thinking I need your help. I eat lizards like that for breakfast. I I'm sure you do. Um, thank you, though. There, I said it. My granny's always nagging me not to forget my manners. Well, I'll be on my way. I hope I get to see you fight sometime. I get to see you fight again sometime, Miss Rika. Hey, what about me? My name's Otto. Where are you going, little guy? Otto, eh? I am Voron. Veron. As to where I'm going, I'm heading back to. I'm heading across the Zol Plains back to Rattle Village. Come by and see me. Rattle Village. Never heard of it. But if there are dinosaurs roaming around, we must be pretty far in the past. The atmospheric plant life and vertebrate life forms suggest several thousand years ago. I'm unable to provide any further details. Very few relevant historical records still are existent in my time. Well, I suppose to. Well, I was supposed to go back to the past for thousands of years. There's another thing that's been bothering me. Why are you still here, Rika? Shouldn't you have disappeared with everyone else from the future? Unknown, I lack sufficient data to properly analyze the situation. Aside for some ghost data in my memory that I cannot account for, I am still in pink operating condition. A ghost? Oh, that's more future talk, right? At any rate, I'm glad I still have you on my side. The part of Ogre and Corum that Amy's dad repair is back to the way it was just like it was never fixed. Everyone I made in the future, all the things we did, they've been undone. I have to do something. I guess we start by gathering info at Rattle Village. Now we are super far in the past, guys. Oh, we defeated our first T-Rex. Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Look at that flower. It's so menacing. Oh, it's dead. Let's see. We have scary dinosaurs up there that will probably murder my face off. A raptor. Actually, I probably murdered these with my sword characters. Yep. Let's see. Oh, that's right. This was. We could do this side quest. Oh, no, that would hurt. Oh, great fairy, please forgive this foolish mortal. I hope not even finish the side quest. I think this is a long fetch quest. I don't know what that kid's doing. Hey, are you okay? Hello. What a happy coincidence. I dropped something in the spring a little while ago. That's something very precious to me. I was just praying to the great fairy who had been supported to forgive my mistake and return my possession. Hmm. This is a fairy spring? Looks like a regular old pond to me. It doesn't look all that deep either. Can you just wade in it and fish it out while you draw? That wouldn't be right. I have to show the fairy I'm sorry for disturbing the pool. Oh, great fairy, please forgive this foolish mortal. A voice echoes from the spring. Careless one who defiles my water. If you wish for what was lost, make an offering of teardrop grass onto the spring. What was that? Don't tell me. The great fairy, I heard it. I heard my prayers after all. Gosh damn it, Pat. I don't have time. After all, you heard it yourself, didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, well, I heard a voice asking for teardrop grass anyway. Teardrop grass? How am I meant to get that? Teardrop grass grows far on the far side of the old plains. But the plains are full of dinosaurs and other pairs. I don't know if I can make the trip. If only some 
If only I had some strapping young champion who could go in my stead. Great fairy, please offer me guidance in my time of need. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Oh, ha, ha, uh, ha. Uh, uh, good job, great fairy. Good sir, you look like you could handle yourself in combat, am I right? It must be the well of the great fairy that guided you here to me. What? I see it all now. Our meeting here in this place was no accident. Fate is telling me if you gather the teardrop grass for me to offer up. That's an interesting interpretation. Okay, fine. Teardrop grass, right? Thank you for bring, for being so understanding. Teardrop grass is a pl is a plant that grows on the Zol plains. Now I await you here and con and continue wishing as hard as I can. Let me know when you found it. Okay. Uh, does this tell me? Oh, okay, yeah. I have to go to that specific location. Yeah, I know I said I wouldn't really do side quests on screen, but, eh. Because it was on the way to the town, man, to well. And, I mean, getting experience never hurts, although I could definitely use a heal. Dancing tree. Hmm. Got our stupid teardrop grass. Hmm. Yeah, uh, for side quests, I'm going to have to come back to this stupid area a lot, too. Oh, God, hornets. Die, die, die. Uh. Gosh, on enemies. Oh, great fairy, please give this foolish mortal. Hey, I got your grass. Wonderful, I knew the great fairy would not forsake me. Uh, yeah, sure, here you go. Yes, yes, this is a real thing. Oh, great fairy, I offer you this tribute with a humble heart. Ha! Whoa, I'm pretty sure you don't have to hurl it in like that. Young maiden, I received your tribute with a gladsome heart. If you wish for what was lost, make an offering of two kimono nuts onto the string. Kind of materialistic for a fairy. Great fairy, thank you for guiding this lost lamb to salvation. With spectacular benevolence, I will gladly undertake this new trial. Oh, uh, what am I going to do? Kimono nuts grow all the way on the far side of the Zol Plains. I don't know if I can make... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. She's going to say the same exact thing. And then she's going to send us to the other side of the planet. I'm not even going to bother reading this. <laughs> oh, tries to ditch her. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we have to get to... You can get this. Get Grand Tour up there. And then dick ass over here. Walking all slow. Get away from turn around so you get those stupid item. Okay, now we can go all the way back. More in this flower. Okay. This is the last part of the side quest. You saw the crown. Yep. Now we give her the gosh darn shit. Hmm. 
A voice that goes from the spring. Young maiden, I receive your tribute with a gladsome heart. If you risk for what was lost, make an offering of yourself and become my bride. Great fury, you wish to read me? I'm not sure I understand. What's there to understand? Step into the waters and make your vow, Squirrely. He he he. What a creepy laugh. Hey, don't you think there's something weird about all this? Do not sully this sacred ritual with your dis disrespectful words. Great Fury, I hear I understand. Let us be joined in Redlock. Place myself entirely at your mercy. These are stupid people. <laughs> Whatever it is, you drop. It's worth the extreme. this extreme. Ask yourself, would a real fairy make these kind of demands? Don't let it push you around anymore. Hey, butt out, buddy. This is none of your business. Now come to me, my sweet. Finally showing your true colors, huh? Coward. Me? I could stomach a lot of abuse, but I won't tolerate anyone questioning my valor. Grrr! You've done it now, kid. I'm going to tear you apart. The monster leaps out of the spring. Uh, spinning slash element to push, heal. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so the fairy was a bunch of, was a monster. Well, monsters, I guess, in this occasion. So, yeah. That's why it was super evil. Curse you. I was so close to making this mate in my own. Grah! The great fairy. Uh, it was a monster lady. Open your eyes. I was no fairy. Just a plain old monster. It lied to you. It's been using you all this time. Can this be? How could I be so foolish? At least you can see the truth now, huh? What's that? Don't tell me this is where you've been trying to get back. That's... Yes, that's a hair clip I dropped in the spring. Kind traveler, if you have this, that can only mean one thing. Huh? You were the real great fairy all along! I knew it! I could tell the first time we met there was something different about you. Oh, here my heart feels fit to burst. I must go and prepare a, suit a suitable offering. Yes, offer to me, maiden. Wait, let's talk about this. She didn't listen. What a surprise. But she got her stuff back and we beat the monster, so all is well that ends well. I bet I get out of here in case she really does come back with some kind of offering. Quest complete. Uh, her offering to me was some chrono stones and some other crap. Okay. Now, gosh darn it, T-Rex. Why do you have to come over here right at this moment? This is the only annoying to you. This is like one of the only annoying, like, big enemies that I ran into. Because they actually blocked the entrance to the gosh darn town. Here we are, guys. We're in the next town. We're in Rattle. And I am gonna... Oh, I guess I could do the blacksmith real quick. I was gonna say I was probably about to end the video. But we can... Let's see. Swords. Ooh, level... Wait. Oh, I don't have the materials for it. I should get the materials for this. Try on. Only plus four. Hmm. It's not worth it. That's, that's something special, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, that's definitely not worth it. No, I guess I don't really need to buy equipment. I was already up to... Uh, I was already um, fully caught up anyway. I'll just keep the material. But we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to have to cut a part of it because someone decided to text me. That should be fun. Uh, Don Machi's second anniversary story. I mentioned that in the previous video. That's already out. Uh, I've actually already beat the story. I might still do it, but only if I could get volume. Although, even if I could get volume, I'm not sure I would want to. Because I'd want the voice actors to read the line, but it's a lot of story. I mean, I could post a story 
no commentary. But I'm not sure people would want that. Anyway, I'll, I'll think about it. This is going to be you, Steve, and I'm signing out.